Hello boys and ghouls, for today's spooktober video we're starting off by turning lilac and I lilac it. <laughs> Sorry I'll see myself out. <laughs> this is a fab paint, it's a water activated paint from fxcosplay.com. I'm putting this all over me, my neck, face, body, arms, hands, all the places. Going back and forth between a stippling brush and a smaller brush to cover more area but also add detailing. For my brows I decided to go with a more natural brow shape rather than her Nike-esque usual shape so this is my rendition. I'm just using a black water activated paint on a spoolie brush for this. And then cleaning up the edges with more lilac paint as if you were basically using concealer on your own skin. For my eye makeup, I'm starting with my NYX Shabai Pencil and Milk as my base to be sure that the eyes are going to pop. And I'm blending that out because a lot of it can be lost color when you're doing any kind of colorful look like this. Continue on with Lost and Found from ColourPop as my transition type of shade. accurately named for this look we have shark bait ooh ha ha from makeup geek it's not actually ooh ha ha just decided to add that <laughs> To my waterline, I'm using Esmeralda A liner from NYX and following that up with a shark bait yet again. It's kind of incredible how a different color base can affect a color so greatly, but we're just going with it. Finishing it off with coming back in with Lost and Found to further blend it out again as a transition, and then I'm adding mascara. For the iconic red lips, I'm just going in with a metallic shade. This is Poinsettia from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I'm back in with that black water activated paint for the Beauty Mark and a small detailing brush. I'm also wanting to add some definition to the rest of the body paint, so I'm going to be achieving this by using a dark purple shadow and a decently sized dense brush. I'm carving out my already visible collarbones and carrying the color over a little bit more to add the illusion of them being longer and more fulfilled. Also doing this to my face to contour. And for the tentacles, I'm starting off with tinfoil as it's very, very light and easy to manipulate. Taking a bunch of it, I'm going to be using my hands to shape it. I made four to be safe, but I only really used three.
actually wanted to show you guys two ways to go about this. You're going to cover all of each of these in basic just hobby glue and mix in a little bit of water to make it go a little bit farther. This is going to give a uniform texture to be easier to paint but also to help stick on the Cheerios which we're going to act as these suction cups. I ate a lot of these during the stage, not gonna lie. <laughs> Also be sure to add a layer of glue over top of those to really just keep them in place. Once those are also dry, find a surface to work and put some Vaseline on top of it. This is going to make for easy removal or, well, easier, I guess. I'm using quite a bit of liquid latex for this step as the more you use, the easier it will be to actually blend it into your skin. Mine weren't as blended as I would have hoped, but I made do. I'm adding a cotton round to the middle of it, give it more structure and building up a mountain of liquid latex, almost like a mount, actually, of liquid latex and cotton balls. <laughs> Then adding the prosthetic into the metal that we've just made and then building it around that to secure it. Another way to go about this is to use a mixture of flour and liquid latex. It definitely does use more liquid latex than the alternative option, but it also does look more natural, really. This is called latex paste. Once those are all dry, you're going to want to powder them all before removing them. This did take uh, like two days for it to dry, so be aware of that. This will make it so they don't stick together. As you peel up flour or powder more, you can definitely use flour for this option as a cheaper alternative. And then for the paint job, I'm using a purple on the top, a pink on the inside, and a white to cover the suction cups. Basically just to make everything stand out and give it more Ursula texture and color.
To apply, I'm using a skin adhesive. Liquid latex is definitely easier, but I find spirit gums allows it to actually stay longer. You can definitely use other adhesive, but to help blend the edges, I did give it a little bit more security and strength. I'm going to be using liquid latex around the edges. Once those layers have dried, I'm going to be coming in with the same water activated paint I used on the rest of it, but be sure that your liquid latex is fully dry before the steps, otherwise you will ruin your brush. If you happen to lose some of your contouring in the process like I did, then just add that back in and then blend it out once again. And because mine weren't blending very well, I used a hairspray color in silver to both my skin and prosthetic and blend it in with a brush. Then just add a silver wick and you are done. Happy Halloween, guys.